Hey team, uh, so this is an early demo of the chain pipelines feature. Um, we have a lot of customers who have been looking for this feature and um, some of our prospects have been looking for this feature. Um, we are uh, working to deliver this close to the end of Q1, so the end of January. It could slip into February because we're working to kind of improve the quality around the feature and make sure the release is tested with a bunch of our swim lanes. Uh, so to get started, just to kind of show what this will look like, um, if you create um, a parent pipeline or like one pipeline, right, and you add a stage, you'll notice that you'll see this chain pipelines option or pipeline option. And it says run a pipeline as a stage um, with another pipeline, essentially. So this is like your chain pipelines option. So if you click on that, uh, you'll be able to, depending on your RBAC, you'll be able to select like what organization and then what projects you want to fetch your pipeline from. And you'll be able to actually select it and link it in the pipeline. Um, we also give an ability to preview. So if you click view, you'll notice my tab switches to a new uh, browser tab and you can see what the child deploy pipeline has. So it's just going to do a rolling deployment and it's going to use the service in the environment and infra depth that I've already configured. So if I use this, you can imagine a common use case could be something like I have a, a common like deploy pipeline and this might be, you know, deploy to QA and this might be another kind of uh, a chain pipeline essentially. So I'm deploying the same service. I deploy it to my dev environment. I'm going to deploy this thing to my QA environment. Um, and so you can model your pipeline in such a way that it can link multiple pipelines together. So in this example, I'm deploying the dev QA and I have one chain pipeline that's doing like a, a just like a shell script execution, but just to show you the different flavors that this thing offers. So you can um, uh, click save here and we'll save the pipeline changes. Um, in terms of the design, you'll see what are the inputs that are going into the pipeline. And then if you want to use um, any outputs from this pipeline, you can configure them here. So you can define it as, you know, um, an example might be in your in your previous pipeline, you might have a JIRA ticket, right? So you might say JIRA ticket ID and then reference an expression from that pipeline that has the, uh, you know, the JIRA ticket ID expression. You can pass it in here and leverage it in a subsequent stage. So you can map your pipeline outputs and use them in subsequent stages. The ideal format would probably be something like you run a pipeline, a, a chain pipeline stage, consume the outputs, pass it into the subsequent one because you want to be able to pass those um, outputs and parameters that have been computed basically from the previous pipeline. So that's um, a, a capability that we're, we're going to offer as well. Um, and then you'll notice in the advanced, you can have, you know, we've retained the delegate selection, we have conditional execution, we have failure strategies that you can configure. So you have those options at your uh, disposal. Now, um, if I wanna uh, run the pipeline, you'll notice like I can pass in, um, you know, uh, uh, like a script here uh, because I have my script is runtime input so I can pass it in and you can go uh, deploy it. Um, the other thing is if you do like an input set, you can also support it. We support it with input sets. So you could say like test input set for this example. And you can see here in my shell script body, I'm just going to say, you know, hello world, uh, new pipeline chaining feature. And then what you'll see is I can um, save this and when I run the pipeline, it'll pass this in as an input set and I can run. And so this thing hooks in with the input sets, the triggers functionality. Um, and what you'll see here is, uh, you know, we have like an approval stage. It had a step. Um, it, this was the shell script that I just passed in. Um, now it has a pending approval, so you can do the approval within the one pipeline view. So you get to see all the like the stages that are nested within um, the pipeline view itself. So it's not um, like decoupled in any way, and uh, you lo don't lose the visibility because you can click on this and it'll take you to um, you know that execution essentially.
of the child pipeline um, being executed. And it'll say like the parent pipeline was the one that fired it off. And you'll notice like this is execution ID still recorded. So this was the 35th time this guy ran, but this was the 12th time that this guy ran. And so you'll see as we execute, you know, this was the child stage deploy stage. Um, and when I click on it, you see it did perform a rolling deployment. I just deployed Nginx with the sample manifests. Um, and then uh, it'll also go proceed to do the QA deployment. And you'll see, you know, the same, the service being deployed there as well. Now that's like a mini uh, demo of it. Uh, we're still working on, you know, validating this with other, you know, swim lanes, making sure all the runtime inputs and all the different kind of items that are, encompass the pipeline are also validated. But this is the current state of the feature. Um, you can feel free to, uh, you know, use this demo with uh, your, your customers or with your prospects. Um, just let us know.